Uh, but yeah, just tell me, I don't know. Tell me a little bit about like, I don't know, anything. You can talk about anything. Any other well, thing. this is our local music section uh, here. B-52s, Randall Bramblett, Nate that works here plays in a band called Cars Can Be Blue. Um, Vic Chestnut um, was a, one of the greatest artists to ever come from this town. Uh, he committed suicide. He was bound to a wheelchair and had a lot of me unpaid medical bills and dealt with depression. Um, but he put out a lot of great records and those got reissued recently and people are still discovering those. This is my label, Cloud Recordings. Um, Dreamboat, that's members of Hope for a Golden Summer. Jacob Morris, who played with Patterson Hood of the Drive-By Truckers. Drive-By Truckers still sell out shows here. Um, Old Smokey, that's Jim, who's taught school for the last maybe 16, 18 years or something like that. Uh, Lavender Holyfield, I was showing you them earlier. Um, that sold consistently. And then this was the um, group that I played with that had the most impact, Olivia Tremor Control. Um, those reissues were put out recently and um, they've done well over the years. All right, we'll just talk about, um, I don't know, what is your personal, like, how do you feel about the music scene in Athens? Like, do you love it? And like, if you do, why? Oh, yeah. Um, well, I do think there's a lot of great stuff happening. It's um, frustrates me a little bit that it's a lot of my favorite things aren't getting the attention they deserve. I really like this lady. Um, she's lived here the last couple of years, Claire Cronin. Um, she plays with her partner, Ezra Buchla. Um, and it's kind of haunting folk with experimental avant-garde kind of violin. Uh, this record's really done. It was really well done. Uh, it was a collaboration uh, produced by um, John Dietrich of Deerhoof. Um, and uh, I played lots of shows with her. Um, those CDs over there, um, the bottom three rows are Mike's label, Happy Happy Birthday to Me. I re really like Marshmallow Coast. I played with him and uh, he's a really talented producer and musician. And then the top three rows are my label, Cloud Recordings. CDs don't sell what they used to, so a lot of those are selling for really cheap. I have a stack of boxes of the first new sound of numbers album upstairs um, uh, just because I overpressed them and um, to make some of the money back I'm selling them at cost they're only a dollar ninety nine the label makes a dollar to pay back the cost of the CD and then the store makes a dollar um, but uh, people every once in a while want something local and I'll be like well this is only a dollar ninety nine so they actually pick it up so that's kind of nice is there anything else that you wanted to show me or anything else you want to talk about? No, nah, that's about it. That's about it? Yeah. All right, well, you can just go about your normal day. I'm just going to record a little bit. If you don't okay, mind. yeah, that's fine. I'm going to do some restocking.